what is going on people i am here for if you couldn't tell by the title a different type of video i was waiting for a certain movie to come in so i can make it and i got it yesterday finally got time to sit down and do this video and i'm actually excited for it uh for those of you who have collections some people you know they go for uh special editions and stuff in the hopes that the movie when you buy it it goes up in price uh, sometimes it doesn't work like that. You'll buy a certain movie and the price, you know, just goes down and down and down. Well, there's some movies that one couple of them I paid a little bit more uh, than I wanted to, but uh, they're either out of print or were going out of print. Or at that point in time when I bought the movie, I didn't know that it was going to go out of print. Like some I kind of made out on other ones. I kind of paid up for kind of deal. Uh, so I went through, I picked out a few of the titles in my collection that probably are the most, besides, you know, the box sets and stuff like that, uh, My probably the most expensive one. Uh, up in this corner, I have the uh, 50 movie set. Um, so that's probably the most expensive um, box set that I have, or the most expensive thing in my collection, if I had to put a price on it, because that's going in close to... You know 250 to 300 bucks right now but i also paid over 100 bucks for it so at that point in time if i got you know box sets and stuff like that i don't count that um well let me rephrase that like bigger box sets like complete series or stuff like that i don't really count that uh i count you know special editions and stuff that kind of went i guess either out of print or uh there were a limited amount of them so they kind of their price rose so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through a few of these kind of just showing off what i do have like i said i probably have more in my collection somewhere if i kind of sat down to it but i want to know if you guys enjoy uh this video so if i can get this video to i don't know 25 likes um i'll make another video you know i don't shoot high not many people watch my stuff but um if i get enough you know interactions and stuff what i want you to, to do as well as, is kind of either tag a video and do one of these yourself or in the comment section let me know what are some of the more expensive uh movies that you have in your collection at the time being so anyway let me get into it i do have you know a couple of them here like i said these are actually all in my horror genre so i could should kind of uh, you know, hashtag horror kind of deal. Um, but some of these kind of went up in price. Uh, most of them, if not all of them, are around $50 and more. I think there's only one that's still kind of hovering around the $40 price. Uh, but the rest, I think, are now over 50 closer to like 100 bucks. So let me get into it. The first one, I think I bought this thing for maybe like, I don't know, like 30 bucks when I... Uh, when it first came out and the price went up, I don't know if it's like a limited edition. It doesn't really say anything on it. It doesn't say uh, it's a collector's edition. It's a four disc collector's ed edition with over eight hours of chills and thrills behind the scenes kind of stuff. It comes with a Blu-ray, DVD, bonus features, disc, and a soundtrack to the movie. And the movie is called The Tales of Halloween, put out by Epic Pictures. Um, it's got, <laughs> it's a horror anthology film where you get uh how many different one two ten different shorts um almost like a trick-or-treat kind of deal came around out around this uh around the same time you get a whole bunch of people that do it and it's one of those deals where um each of the stories is directed by a different person uh so trick-or-treat is one of those anthology films that all the stories coincide kind of deal this it's more just 10 short stories plus more because on the uh, bonus disc, I guess they had to cut some of the shorts. There's like six other ones or something like that. But this one, I think I bought, like I said, for around 30 bucks. And now that I'm looking on it, people tell me not to go by Amazon price. So I don't go by Amazon price. Uh, some of them I had to go by Amazon price because they didn't have anything on Amazon. Um, what do you want to call it ebay or anything like that because i guess that's the outlier what most people are selling them for but this is going for around 70 bucks so it kind of like doubled in price by the time i got it uh this movie not uh many people have this edition so it's hard to find um <clears throat> they have 
a DVD out for this movie. They have a single disc Blu-ray for this, but this one's the Blu-ray DVD plus bonus feature, so it's a three disc set of this movie. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I'd say definitely go ahead, uh, go out there and watch it. And the movie's called Turbo Kid. If you haven't seen this one, it's almost like Mad Max meets like, uh, what's it called, Rad, the, the uh, bicycle movie where literally like everybody's on bicycles here. Like they have all these like suits of armor and stuff. It's a very interesting movie. Uh, this one's going for over 50 and I bought it for around 30, I, I, I think as well. Uh, but this is, like I said, the special edition version of it. When you look on Amazon or you look on eBay, they have like a either the DVD or the single disc of it. So I can't tell you exactly how much it's going for, but the few I saw, it's going for over 50 right now. Uh, this one is a uh, couple of the ones I have here are Arrow editions, and I'm guessing these ones kind of went out of print. Uh, because this one's going for around the $70, $80 mark on um, Amazon. Like I said, I can't really find it on eBay. I look for it. I have it, this put in my... Uh, the one thing I use is Blu-ray.com. The one app to kind of just put all my collection in to know what I do have. And this one, it, it kind of brings you to Blu-ray.com. And it'll give you the price for each, either Amazon or eBay. And eBay, not many people are selling it, so I'm guessing that's why they don't really have a price. But this one's going for around 100 bucks, And it's a movie society. This is the weird, weird, weird movie. <clears throat> I remember I bought the DVD for, you know, a big price. And then they uh, and then they put out this, uh, like, limited edition, like, embossed, weird-looking box set kind of deal where it comes with... Uh, not only the movie, but it, gives, it comes with a book, and it just, you know, Arrow videos, uh, Arrow movies, they have just so many uh, behind-the-scenes special features kind of deal. So this one's going for, like I said, close to 100 bucks. Uh, this one as well, it's a um, uh, three-disc set, or three-film set, should I say. Uh, it comes with the... Uh, Regular cut, the theatrical cut, and the uh, director's cut of the movie. And it's one of my favorites of all time. Uh, and this version of it is, um, you know, out of print, I'm guessing. Or just limited, uh, whatever you want to call it. And that's the Donnie Darko 3-disc set. Where it comes, like I said, with the uh, the three movies. It comes with the uh, regular one. It comes with the theatrical cut. And it comes with the director's cut. Uh, so this one's going for a pretty penny as well. This one's going for over a hundred. Uh, even like I said on eBay, the few that I did see was going for around a hundred. Uh, this one's going for a pretty penny as well. This one actually, is, uh, some of the things I saw was going for over two hundred. And even the two this set of this one is going for uh, you know a good amount of money as well. And I'm glad I got it when I got it because I only got it for like forty bucks or something like that. And now it's just you know the prices skyrocketed so i'm glad i jumped on it <laughs> this is the house for this set uh they do have one that was put out in america uh that has the two disc set which is just uh the first two movies but this one was put out in the uk and it has all four movies which at one point in time i did not know uh there was four house movies i knew there was three but you have house house two house three and house four um the the one, the second one is the second story. Third one is the horror show, and uh, the fourth is the uh, repossession. And the one that it, this has, it comes with like this hardcover book, which uh, you know has kind of, you know, I'm guessing like behind the scenes kind of deal if you read it and pictures and stuff along those lines. So uh, that's what you want to look for with these. Uh, I don't know with the with the two. Uh, this collection if that comes with uh the book as well but this like i said even on amazon or on uh, ebay that it's going for over 150 bucks the one i saw going for like 229 dollars i don't think anybody was kind of looking at that but i saw like 250 and of course you get people price gouging going for like 300 bucks but this one like i said i got it right when you know it, it wasn't expensive as expensive it is as it is now so i think i got it like i said for around 40 or 50 bucks uh so i'm glad i got it when i did get it this one's the cheapest one but it is out of print i was expecting like i wasn't able to get it when it first came out 
Uh, so then I kind of forgot about it and I found it on eBay for like 30 bucks. That was one of the cheaper ones that I found. It ranges from like 30 to 45 bucks. And I'm like, let me get it now before, you know, it does go, you know, it's out of print and then it does go for even more. And that's the Neon Demon starring L. Fanning. I remember wanting to watch this one for the longest time. It's a little bit different than most movies. It's more, um artsy i guess you want to call it like it's a uh she's a model and then it's like the ins and outs of the modeling career and it, almost like if you saw like the black swan where the character kind of loses her mind kind of deal this one it just gets weirder and weirder and weirder as the movie goes along uh but the neon demon like i said i bought it for like 30 bucks this one i paid up for and one of the ones i just recently got i paid up for uh, but like I said, 30, I think I got it for like 30 something bucks with shipping. Um, and like I said, it's hovering around the 30 to $45, but it is, I believe out of print. So that's why it's so much money. Um, this one here I bought, uh, when it first came out, it's one of the limited edition steel books, uh, put out by, uh, screen factory. And this one seems to be going for the most amount of money. Uh, it ranges from like 50 to 75 bucks, even more on eBay. It's listed at a hundred bucks or 99 bucks on, uh, on Amazon. It's limited to 10,000, uh, copies. I do have the original movie on, um, Blu-ray as well from Screen Factory, but it's the They Live Steelbook, the, uh, like I said, the limited to 10,000 manufacturer, uh, copy, uh, ones, um, so I don't know if they're gonna, like, re-release stuff like this, and then it's gonna, you know, just kinda, the value is gonna go down, but for right now, like I said, it ranges from, like, 50 bucks on eBay to, uh, closer to 100, and then on Amazon it says, like, $99 or something like that. So that's the uh, They Live Steelbook. This one I got just, you know, in the nick of time. I got it for $14. Uh, I got it, I guess, before it went either out of print or whatever. Got it off Amazon. So this was going six, seven years ago and something like that. And then uh, it's one of the ones that most people, most horror movie collectors, I guess, uh I don't want to say are sought after or something like that, but it might be one of the more, you know, sought after Blu-rays. I know the DVD is going for a little bit of money as well, uh, but the Blu-ray is going for more. And that movie is Dead Alive. So, like I said, I got it just in the nick of time. I got it for $14.99. And I, I looked it up, uh, like I said, probably like seven, eight years ago or something like that. So I got it probably right when it was going out of print kind of deal. Uh, this is, you know, the... Um, crazy, crazy, uh, what's his name movie, uh, Peter Jackson movie, um, before he did, you know, Titanic and that, where it's just a gore fest, if you haven't seen it, you have to check it out for sure, but this one, like I said, is going for over a hundred bucks now as well, um, and then this one I just got, this was one I was waiting for in the mail, uh, totally forgot about this movie, uh, it is on DVD, but the Blu-ray is the one that's out of print, uh, and it's going for a good amount of money, and I paid a good amount of money for it. Let's just say I paid 80 bucks for it. Um, so it's one of those deals where it's either it's going to bite me in the ass, and they're going to re-release this thing, and um, it's just you know going to go down in price, or you know they're not going to re-release this at all, and you know the price is going to go up. So I'm like, let me get it now before it goes you know astronomical and stuff like that. Uh, but it was what I think this came out. It came out in 1993. Forgot that it came out that uh, long ago. It stars Seth Green and stuff. And the movie is called Ticks. I uh, remember watching this uh, like once in my life. I kind of had to pop it in to kind of re-jog my memory. And I still don't remember it. And I also fell asleep last night. So I got to remember it. Like watch it again. Uh, but movie Ticks right now. This is going like I said for like 80 bucks. Uh, it is in my... Um, in my blu-ray player right now uh they do have you know uh counterfeit or you know uh bootleg copies and stuff like that so I'm, I'm like hopefully i don't but i saw a video of someone you know opening up and showing you which ones are actually the real ones and the way it looked it looks like it definitely is the one uh that is out of print and like i said it's going for 80 bucks so i did purchase it for 80 bucks so you know, it's it, it just one of those things where I'm like, I, I, I feel like getting like an out of print or an expensive movie. And 
I went and I got that. So ticks. So those are the ones that, you know, like I said, I knew were a little bit going for a little bit more money. Uh, anything over like 50 bucks. I definitely think there's more stuff in my collection uh, that I have to find. But I also want to know if this is a video that you guys want to check out, like a second version of it. Uh, I don't know if there's anything in my, like I said, this is all my horror movies and stuff. I don't know if there's anything in my other, you know, my um, regular, just regular collection that uh, might have some out of print kind of stuff. So if you're interested and it's something you might want to see a second video of, like I said, get this video to like 25 likes and I'll definitely make a, uh, make a second edition of this, I guess you want to call it, might not be as big. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure what uh, what is worth anything more than it already is kind of deal. I think there's a few Shout Factory or Screen Factories that I have back there that are out of print that are going, you know, slowly but surely rising up in price. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit that little bell button so you know when I do upload rather uh, something like this or unboxings or reviewed that I did right before for the movie, um, uh, The Night They Knocked. Uh, so check that out. And like I said, you know, if you have anything that you know is worth any money, either comment in the uh, comments below or do a video yourself and tag me in it so I could check it out as well. Um, just because I'm interested in, you know, People collect for certain reasons. I collect not only to collect, but if I can find, you know, these rarities or limited editions or stuff like that, I like getting those as opposed to, you know, a normal edition. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's something you might want to see. And like I said, um, get this to 25 likes and I'll do another one. So I guess until next time, I'll see you guys.